playing, but playing, but playing. Okay. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, as you read by the title, it's time to open up our boxy charm. Got my boxy charm in the mail today, so I'm excited to crack it open. I did watch a video or two, so I have an idea of what is going to be in this month's box. At least it better be in my box because it's in everybody else's box. <laughs> so, anywho, I do have an idea of what's in this box, but anything else I wasn't really paying attention to except that one item. So, I'm sure you know what it is. The same as always, have my little protective foam over my goodies. And I do have a card here. So, let me just take a quick look and see what's on here. <sighs> if there's anything special. Okay, so I see we have another trifold opening card. So I don't know, it's like we're getting different types of cards and stuff nowadays. But this one is kind of cute. Very, very Let's cute. See. It has on here Caribbean Queen. So that is the thing for this box Caribbean Queen. Very cute. And I'm just going to start digging in here and pulling stuff out, you guys. So about to see what we got. This okay, month. so. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> first item on top are some brushes. Look at this, you guys. Very, very cute and a nice, beautiful sealed package. So let me go ahead and take a look and get the description on these brushes. So these are Luxie brushes. And I do have some other Luxie brushes. I believe I got like a small, like travel size set of brushes that are really nice. I actually do use them, so I like them a lot. But this set is a larger set. So it says here, the Luxie three-piece flawless complexion brush set. I need to go get my glasses. Hold on one minute. Okay, y'all, I got my glasses. Now, hopefully y'all can't really hear my AC. It's burning up in sunny California and so my AC is on so I apologize if you can hear my AC but let's get back to these brushes okay precision foundation face brush which is number 660 with less bristle density this brush is perfect for applying both powder and liquid foundation to create a soft diffused makeup look so let me see here I'm gonna go ahead and open this up okay so 660 let's see here okay so this is the 660 brush so this is the one that is the precision foundation face brush this is what that looks like brush number 660 very very nice i don't know if i'll use this for foundation this looks like something i would actually use for like highlight <laughs> to be honest with you or uh, maybe placing powder under my eyes, but I don't know if I'd use it for foundation. But anywho, that is the 660 brush. Next, we have the Tapered Highlighting Face Brush, which is 522. And let's see here. Okay, so this is 522. So this is Tapered Highlighting Face Brush. This fluffy tapered brush allows you to seamlessly apply your favorite powder highlighter to the high points of your face or set your under eye makeup. <laughs> so funny because that's exactly what I said about the other brush. And these brushes do look a lot alike. As you can see, they're very, very similar. So this is the foundation and this is the highlight. So I guess I'll interchange these for my highlighter. Very cute. Okay, next we have the Dual Fiber Powder Brush, which is brush number 516. So that is this brush here. And it says, use this ultra soft dual fiber brush to apply cream or powder makeup for a softer, flawless finish. Now, it says that this brush set retails for $42. And it says these are Brianna's faves. So, very, very cool. $42 brush set. Okay, I'm not mad at it. And these brushes are very, very nice. I love Luxie brushes. And to have larger ones is nice. So, okay, let's move on. I'm going to pull out this sole. Is this Hanera? <laughs> Is this that bum bum okay, stuff? Okay, Sol de Janeiro. Okay. 
Okay. Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Okay, it says it's inspired by the Brazilian's favorite feature, the bum bum. Okay, so am I supposed to rub this on my bum bum? I'm not sure. It says it's creamy and rich in guarana, guarana, a native Amazonian plant whose fruit contains some of the most potent forms of caffeine. The fast absorbing texture contains just enough mica to add a perfect Brazilian glow as the formula helps your body look and feel its smoothest and tightest. So I guess I'm supposed to put this on my bum bum. <laughs> okay. So this retails for $10 and it says jo Joelle's favorite. Okay. So I don't know if there's a safety seal on here, but I do want to smell it. There is a little seal on here. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, there's a little seal on there. And, oh, oh that smells good. Y'all know I love stuff that smells good, especially if it smells like tropical or summer or beach or anything like that, I'm loving it. Okay, so this is um, what we have in here. It's just a nice cream. It smells really, really good. Let me put a little bit of this on my hand because y'all know how I love to test out creams and whatnot. Maybe my hands will get tighter. <laughs> I'll put some of this bum bum cream on my hands. Oh, that smells good. I like it. I'm gonna put some of this on my bum bum the next time I go to the beach, okay? So that is the bum bum cream. Like I said, it retails for $10. Okay, next, let me pull out this Ofra lipstick here. So I have an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And this is what that looks like. Just the usual Ofra lipstick package. And it says here, Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick is a one-step full lip color that does not feather. These vibrant colors will give you a vivacious new look. They're creamy and soft in texture, moisturizing the lips and creating a long lasting lipstick effect. No need to use lip liner. This liquid lipstick gives a beautiful edge to your lip look. Oh, okay. No lip liner. All right, I'm with it. This retails for $21 and it says it's Reina's fave. So let me go ahead and just get a little swatch going for y'all. What color is this? Verona. I have the color Verona. Looks like the other 50 shades of Ofra lipstick I have, but it's pretty. <laughs> very, very pretty. That is a very nice nude shade. Very pretty. So like I said, I have about 50 more Ofras that are this shade, but very nice. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay, next. I, and this is a good box. Dang, that's a lot of stuff I'm pulling out of here. Okay, what is this? Battingtonlashes.com. Oh, I got some lashes. Okay, now y'all know I don't wear no lashes, but I got some, some Battington lashes up in here. So this is probably going to be a nice little giveaway for somebody. Okay, so it says here, Battington Monroe Silk Lashes. Let me open this up so we can check it out. Ooh, and it comes in this cute little box and everything. Fancy schmancy, okay. Very, very fancy. Oh, those are pretty. I don't know, I might keep these, y'all. Look at that. Those are very pretty. Okay, so it says here for these lashes, the 3D multi-layered Baddington Monroe Silk Lashes enhance your look with moderate length adding a volume and link to your lashes. They're handmade. Oh, they're handmade with 100% silk and impressive durability, allowing up to 25 applications with proper care. Okay, so you definitely get your money's worth out of these. It says they're worth $28 and these are Jasmine's fave. Who are these people? <laughs> these people that's telling me what they favorite stuff is okay i don't know these people okay so i guess it's these people <laughs> it's the boxy babes i guess you guys so here's the boxy babes i didn't show you guys the boxy babes so i guess that's who is telling me what all they faves are so these lashes are very very nice 28 dollars. i'm probably still gonna give them away because 
I hate putting on lashes and I got five million pair already. Okay, next. Okay, I have here a <laughs> Jonte Blue liner. Okay, you guys, and I'm not gonna assume that it's black. In my Ipsy bag, I assumed that my liner was black, but I was informed that it was either blue or gold, I think. And I got the blue one, I got a navy one. So, just a correction on my Ipsy bag liner that I didn't open because I assumed it was black. It was actually navy blue, so got that one. This Jonte Blue is in 912 charcoal <laughs> 912 charcoal okay so it says here waterproof eyeliner pencil 100 vegan waterproof eyeliner pencil glides on smooth for an elevated eye look use along the upper lash line or waterline retails for five dollars jante blue and this is joelle's fave okay so let me see here let me go ahead and swatch it. <laughs> so, okay, so it's like a gray, a charcoal gray. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's like a gray color, which is very unique. I don't think I've ever worn a gray eyeliner before, but I'll try it out. Okay, so you guys, that retails for $5. And the last item I got in my box, <laughs> in my Caribbean Queen box, is this palette. And this palette is from Alamar, and it's the Reina del Caribe palette. Retails for $28. And it says here, this is Kathleen's fave. Well, so let me go ahead and open up this palette. And this is a nice little sturdy cardboard palette, you guys. It's a decent size, too. Ooh. And it's very, very cute. Look at this very very cute let me take the plastic off okay so this is what the palette looks like has that nice caribbean tropical feel to it very very cute so let me go ahead and read some information for you guys so it says here this palette features eight highly opaque shades reminiscent of the beauty and culture of cuba dive into the pigments and pearls found in the intense metallics or ground your look with the warm richness of the creamy mattes for a more intense application, refer to the shade names that feature a water droplet that can be used with a wet brush, the sun symbol for application with a dry brush. Okay. So, okay, so as you can see, it does have on some of the names, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little water drop and it looks like there's some that have the little sun, the ones at the bottom, I see um, the little sun symbols, so that is very very cool. i'm not doing all the water and all that stuff today i'm just going to do a quick swatch of all of these shades dry okay so my hand is clean so i'm gonna go ahead and get my swatch on oh my lord Ooh, ooh, ooh okay okay boxy charm y'all see them swatches Jeez Louise. Okay, let me go ahead and swatch the other four. Oh, that first one is weak. <laughs> this first one is weak. But it's just a very, very light shade, so I can see why it would be weak. Sorry for the struggle swatches, you guys, but those shimmer shadows, they not playing. And I could see a lot that I could do with those matte shades as well. So this is the whole palette, as you can see. Shimmers on top, mattes on the bottom. Thumbnail. So just in case I didn't say earlier, this eyeshadow palette is retailing for $28. So all in all, this is a bomb box, you guys. I must say that BoxyCharm outdid themselves this month. Very, very happy that I am subscribed to this box this month. I mean, but they've been tearing it up the last few months. they just been giving all kind of luscious goodies. So, anywho, that is my whole box for the month of June. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking out what I got. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles!